today from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. This is Madden NFL 21. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Tyler, Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Miami. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top? He's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Two and now on first down. And oh, right away, he lost the football. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. Tua hit, and the ball is out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5". That's Josh Allen. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming? Coming out of a junior college, I think he exceeded expectations. And he can move it around a little bit, too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlantic. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. They'll roll him out right. Fighting through, and he's got space. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it, and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. From the gun, it's Allen. Steps away to his left. 
He may try and run for this. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. And now they'll throw with Allen, almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked it on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he is going to go down, back at the 11-yard line. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. shotgun here's Allen to the end zone but it's incomplete they certainly had good starting field position on that drive but couldn't do anything with it after three plays have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position when that drive started they had six points that they were thinking about Tyler, Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal a 28 yard attempt The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will take a 3-0 lead. Score Bills 3, Dolphins nothing. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession the coach will just be relieved though if they recoup with a score here right i think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield punching the end zone without turning it over here's a pass swung out left to his running back and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds they'll contain him to just four second down all defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain Tua wants to throw it on second down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Now the former Washington Husky. Here's Miles Gaskin. 
Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. It's taken to the 26. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On first down, Allen. He's going to air one out. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing again, Allen. It's brought in complete. It's John Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Bills three, Dolphins nothing. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Jerry, the Bills ball well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From midfield, here's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Well, that certainly has to feel good. And it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. Allen's pass. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there.
More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. On play action, Allen. Blitz coming and down he goes. Kyle Van Noy coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. From the gun, Allen. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. You thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Operating from the gun. Allen, he'll and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Allen is going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It's a gain of and we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack is a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. And applause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. a touchdown and they have decided it will not be a touchdown six points off the board so out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today he hit his first now this from 43 the kick by bass is good Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining.
Tyler Bass. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Miami set to take over. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. From the gun, it's Tua. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. It's complete to Grant. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Jaheim give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Two are going to try and go quickly here. Here we go. Here we go. Two setting up shop to throw again. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Matt Breida out of the backfield, and it's third down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. Brought in over the middle by Grant. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Two and a throw again. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Again, they will throw it with Tunga Bailoa. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Now Tua. 
Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. The veteran Jerry Hughes drops the hammer in the backfield. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Two are going to throw. Throw left side complete. It's Grant. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and they are on the board, trailing now six to three. Six, Dolphins three. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. His guys lead, though by only a field goal, still anybody's game, as we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. with the lead and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 the Bills take over first and 10 the quarterback Josh Allen the focus of our players spotlight and I guess the question Charles is what's the formula for keeping him better protected because as we see the protection it struggled and normally what you get is renewed determination when <laughs> when the big guy gets hit that usually sparks people hey we can't let this happen anymore they take it personally he's not supposed to be on the ground but that hasn't been the case so far in this game so maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much and we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward first down and they're going to throw with Allen that's caught by his tight end Dawson Knox and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first.
They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. Allen's throw is complete. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Now in third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Sliding out of the pocket. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. He was brought down. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. On third down, the defense decided to blitz. A very good job of recognizing it, stepping away from the pressure, and finding open space to scramble and pick up a first down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. From the gun, Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Throwing now is Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did... I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So first and 10 now from the 30. To the air, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On second down, here's a run with Singletary, and he'll get it down this time to the 17. Four yards the pick up, first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Allen on first and 10. Buying time to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Throwing again on second down. 
Allen, and it's caught. And the Bills are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. And they run here with Singletary. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. They'll look to run with Singletary. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. on that field but this is a big play third and goal they'll try and run here's Singletary and he gets halfway there down to the one yard line only a yard that time so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal this defense continues to be good on third down I mean they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively are you saying let's go for this let's try to get it in the end zone I don't know about that because of what you just described they've been so good and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. Bit of a pressure spot here for Tyler Bass. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead will increase to six now. It's nine to three. Dolphins three. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This is Jakeem Grant. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 20. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. 
And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And this will be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And it's caught by Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Two and now on first down. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Defense. No! Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Looking to pass. Tua. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Quentin Jefferson. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall... Looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. That'll be complete to Breda. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Tua sets up to pass it. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Matt Breida, 46 yards. And the Dolphins can take the lead with the extra point. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions <laughs> like that? What a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look, and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. And he knocks it through. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins.
after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now. Down 10 to 9. A little under two and a half to go. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. down and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down they have not gotten him going at all trying to spark something there with a longer throw unable to complete it but you have to keep trying he's one of their best playmakers no matter what it says on the scoreboard you're always trying to get him the football an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25 to throw again Allen rolling to his right, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Xavier Howard on the tackle. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. plays in the game thus far and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down so it's Bill's football here as we get you reset they had the catch on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here Allen to throw and able to find John Brown and he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Allen finding Brown for a Bills first down. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The end result, 21 yards. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. Back to throw, Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Singletary here running out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. First down, they stick with Singletary. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a run with Singletary. And a short gain here down to the 22. 
Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go a long yeah, way. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Kyle Van Noy in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Like the footwork back there, and I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. Three for three so far, and a fourth would win it. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL <laughs> moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Jakeem Grant now to return. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Miami, so long, everybody. Not headed to the airport for this one. One more day here will suit me just fine.